Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering con statement as a replacement of if statement. We all know we have two conditional statements if and case. Now in SAP ABAP new syntax, if is replaced by con and this particular case is replaced by switch. And we are covering the con statement currently. So what we did in the previous video, we took a requirement and based upon that, we have written the logic using the if condition. So firstly, what we will do, we will understand this logic in the debugging mode. And then I will replace this if with con. Now, firstly, I by mistake, I put 50,000. I will just make it 5,000. And yes, we need to understand in that debugging mode because as there are so many participants, those who are directly learning the new syntaxes. So we need to go by this way. I need to go for old way. We need to understand in debugging. Then we can go for the new way, new syntaxes. So I will put a breakpoint and it is very helpful if we compare both the things because old syntaxes will work as it is. They are not absolute nothing. Suppose I am giving the input order number 53 to 55. I will go for desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now, this is our input. This input will go to VBELN column of VBAK table. It will fetch that data of these two columns and data will come into this internal table. Currently, this internal table, zero records. I am doing F6. Now, three records came into this internal table. For the first two records, amount is less than 5,000. It means they are low priority and it is your medium priority because it is greater than 5,000. Now we will see. First, the loop will come for first record. Yes, amount is greater than equal to zero. Yes, it is equal to zero. Is it less than 5,000? Yes. So first if condition true. So whenever first if condition true, it will take that text as low priority. And we are displaying the sales document number and low priority. Now loop will come for second record. You can see Cytabix 2. Now first if condition, yes, your amount is greater than equal to zero. Yes, 2000 is greater than zero. Now is it less than 5000? Yes, it is less than 5000. So first if condition, two. So we got the low priority for second record. We are displaying. Now we will come on to third record. Now for the third record, first condition is false because amount is greater than zero. Yes, but it is not less than 5,000. It is greater than 5,000. So first if condition, false. So system will go to next condition. What is next? Else if. Is your amount is greater than 5,000? Yes. Is it less than equal to 10,000? Yes. So this if condition is true. You all know in case of if system will go for each and every condition unless and until it is not getting a true condition. Suppose for the first two records, we got that true here. So it will not go next. Now for the third record, it will go here first. It is not true. So system will come here. Now here we got that true. So system will not go to else part. So in case of if system will go to each and every condition unless and until it is not getting a true condition where it got the true condition, then it will not go further. Yes. Now it will display medium priority. Now we are getting medium priority. And this is our output. Now in SAP ABAP 7.4 onwards in new syntaxes, what SAP is recommending. Now you need to use cond statement 
instead of if statement. So we will simply replace this with particular con statement. So what I will do, I will not touch this logic. I'll just make a copy and comment. Now I will simply, simply write here. I will remove this if. Now we will use the con statement. Now your result, you are taking the result into which variable? Suppose here also you are taking the result into which variable? LV underscore text. So I will simply write LV underscore text is equal to. Now we need to go for what? Con. Now we are using, we're going for which condition? Con. Now the next part is important. You need to take a data element. You all know data element has a domain and domain is all about data type and length. See, we want to display low priority, medium priority and high priority. Now the length is varying. Suppose priority word is common between all of them, but low is how many? Three. Medium is your how many character? Six character. High is four character. So the length of the output is changing. So what you can do? You can take a data element which has a domain or you can say suppose you can take a data element which has a domain of suppose at least 20 characters because your output is not fixed. Your output length is changing. So you need to take which type you need to take a characteristic or you need to take a data element which has a domain which can accommodate all these types of output. Suppose if I will write char 20. Suppose if I will double click on to this data element. This data element has a domain of character 20. You can see it is a data element which is a domain of character 20. Now, if you see this all, it is not greater than 20. It can easily, easily accommodate. So just think at that point of time, what is your accepted output? It might be the case your output length is changing. So at that time, you need to go for a data element which has a domain which can accommodate all kind of output. Now I will go for bracket. Now we will simply go for conditions. What is first condition? We can give the condition through when. So I will copy this condition. This is our first condition. Now, now then, if this is greater than equal to zero and amount is less than 5,000, but you want to display, you want to display low priority. So I will simply write text hyphen 000. Have you seen? We have not written LV underscore text. LV underscore text, it's only one time. Now, uh, or it is also on the right, right. It, it is also on the while assigning the result. We are not specifying the variable. Now we will go for second condition. Now, what is second condition? This is your second condition. I will copy this. When. Now, uh, we have to write that. It is text hyphen 001. Now, I will copy the third condition. So, rather than third, I will simply write else part. Now, in here, this else is same. Else, we will simply, simply write high priority, text hyphen 002. If you have more conditions, you can specify through when and then. Now, I will simply close the bracket. So, this is the most, most effective way to write the code rather than if you need to use this con statement. Now, I will go for write statement, write LWA data hyphen BBELN and we will go for LB underscore text. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Okay, it is LWA data. 
I'll check the syntax and I will act. Now we already covered inline declaration. So here I will go for one inline declaration also. I will not declare this variable lv underscore text. Now here itself, I will declare data. Data lv underscore text. In the line itself, we are declaring. We all know in inline declaration, yes, in the line itself, you can declare and use. Whenever you want to use, you can use. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now, whenever we will proceed in the videos, at that time I showed you, I will show you this also. We will not write the query in this way. We will write the query based upon new features of OpenSQL. We will not declare the structure type, internal table, work area, nothing because we need to go for all these parts. But as of now, in this video, our target is how we can replace if statement with this particular pond statement. And we use the inline declaration also for this particular LB underscore text. Now we will see, are we getting the same to same result or not? So that is most, most important. I will run this particular program. I will give the input. I will go for execute. You can see low priority, low priority, medium priority. I'll put slash so that we will be able to see the output in the new. I'll just run. 53 to 55. Yes, we have same to same result. So what is the summary of this particular video? So firstly, I explained each and everything in the debugging mode that our old way is working fine or not. It is working fine. After that, I made a copy and we are writing by new way. On the left hand side, we put the variable on which the result will be there. I used count. After that, you need to use a data element. Just go for that data element which can accommodate your every kind of output because your output length is not fixed. Now you need to specify the various condition using when, then, when, then. And else you can go for if none of the condition is satisfied, you can go for else part. And after that, we simply, simply displayed using the I statement. Now I used inline declaration also for this particular. I commented this and I used this. Do not go for both. If you will go for both system will give you error because you are declaring externally also. And you are declaring going for inline declaration also. In that case, system will give you the error that it is already declared. You can go by either of this way. So I am commenting this. As of now, this new open SQL features and how we can go for, there is no need to declare the structure type, internal table, work area, all this has not covered yet. So once it will be covered, we will not go for these kinds of declaration also. So video or is the major target of this particular video is we should learn how we can replace the if with this particular form statement. Now in the next video, we will go for switch, which is a replacement of your case statement. So that's it in this video. Thank you.